Well, hello, farm and friends. Welcome back to another edition of Farm and Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And it's time once again for the forestry edition as we are back on Rockwood uh, to continue on our little forestry escapade here. Um, so what have I done since we last did this? I, I went ahead and I've changed my mind on how I'm going to do some of this. Um, before I was piling all the wood up so I could just go through with a chipper and chip everything using the man and the trailer. But that mod just doesn't work the way I want it to work. Um, it's great for setting up somewhere and chipping, but actually being mobile, it doesn't work. Um, you, because every time you do it, you have to disconnect the trailer and then reposition the truck to the trailer unfold everything out and grab all the tops and, and really when you're going around doing tops it just doesn't work so what I did instead is I've grabbed all the tops up with the buffalo and I've got those loaded up and we're going to uh, put a stationary chipper here and what we'll do is in the future we'll just grab all the tops bring them in chip it all up and then go there so to do that we are going to lose the man truck so let's go ahead and grab it, and we're going to take it down to the uh, to the shop, and we're going to ditch it and get rid of that today. And uh, instead, we are going to purchase a new mod uh, that has come out since the last time we did some chipping, and that is the um, the beast. I'm sure you guys have seen it on the. Uh, on the mods um, pages for download and you haven't really maybe you haven't checked it out maybe you have it's a pretty cool little mod uh, I like it it's uh, got a really neat particle animation to it but um so let's lose this guy you've been good to us but you're going and it, like I said I like that mod I really do um, but it's just not it's not it's not conducive to what I'm gonna do here so let's sell that and what we're going to do this time is um, go into there, go into the shop, go into mods and forestry equipment and we are going to get this guy right here. This is the uh, FSM Team Beast. It is a uh, tow behind stationary um, trailer chipper. And uh, we're going to get it. It's got a little bit. It's got a 10,000 liter capacity hopper up in the front for wood chips. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to pull a trailer up next to it. Let the chips come out the pipe. And uh, then take your trailer off. But it's uh, a little pricey. It is uh, $768,000 and $349 a day. But who cares? Uh, let's go ahead and get that. So we'll buy that. Then we are going to need a truck to haul that around with. And I think I'm just going to go with... Um, we'll just go with the Peterbilt. So, yeah. We've got that now. Alright, so the first thing you got to do when you get this thing... The way this works, if you haven't actually seen this thing yet... Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a trailer-mounted chipper. Uh, it's got an engine back here in the back for the power of it. So it is a freestanding unit. You don't have to have a, uh, like with the man's or the gen's chippers, you've, you've always had to have a truck hooked to it. You don't actually have to have that with this one. Um, you're just going to park it into place and let it sit there. So it does have its own motor on it for power and hydraulics. You are going to have to uh, fill it up with gas, though. So that's the first thing we need to do is take it over to the fueling area over here to the pumps and we get a little gas in it now uh, you guys know that when you pull up to a gas pump with your truck you're gonna get the little fuel icon down here in the bottom right hand area um, what you'll get for the for the trailer is if you look in the help menu you'll notice when I get the trailer to the pump you're gonna see some little blue uh, verbiage up there fuel level zero liters once that appears you can start fueling just by hitting uh, of course your R button or in my case it's my up right bumper so that's gonna fill up 
and we'll get that completely full of gas before we head on up into the to the woods I say gas I guess that would be diesel so I've changed some things up here in my setup I've got the joysticks for working um, my booms and everything but I got so frustrated because driving truck and uh, any other equipment was so hard to do with the using the joystick top hats and everything uh, for the time being I have put throttles and steering for the vehicles I've put those onto my on, back onto my gamepad um, so I'm using the two joysticks and a gamepad at the same time uh, to try and do everything that's fine for running uh, the tractors around and also uh, using the uh, buffalo I'm not really sure how that's going to work out for us uh, when we get the um, I'm not really sure how that's going to work out when we get into the scorpion um, so we'll see um, as uh, I haven't messed with it yet with the buffalo it's okay because pretty much with the buffalo I get into one spot I stop and um, I do my thing and then I might need to move a little bit forward backwards and that's fine uh, with the scorpion though I tend to move a lot with it and I'm just concerned that maybe I'm gonna have some issues with that um, all right let's pull on up here and then we can swing around and back her in here all right so the the pipe on this is on the if we're looking at it right now the pipe is on the right hand side uh, I want to leave myself a little bit of room on the uh, left to buy to pull the uh, buffalo in there to unload into it um, and then have some room on the right where uh, you know you can pull your trailer in there to get up underneath the pipe so I don't have to have a whole lot of room here on the side we can always move it if we don't like the positioning of it I think that looks good right there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the truck from it and I will go ahead and shut the trailer off I will show you a couple little things about this real quick from the truck uh, just give you an overview of the of it you've got your motor back in the back and then you can see the grinders there the chippers the chisels whatever you want to call them you got your hopper here in the front you've got three lights here that are completely positionable um, you can actually rotate those around if you were in dark conditions and they would actually cast a little light on the subject uh, you got a middle one that you can put in the hopper and then the two side ones uh, for illuminating the area around it at night so that's kind of cool all right that is shut off not waste any more gas we'll come back to the back and back here on the back corner there's a little you know tan little flip up box here that's your control panel to access that you use keypad zero it flips up and the first thing you have to do is start the engine so we're going to hit C to start the engine and once we do that we need to uh, level it out and so we need to put fold out the feet on that we'll use X on the keyboard and that's going to bring out your levelers and jack the trailer up and get it all leveled out so it is ready to work uh, we can come on up here and then uh, we can now uh, put our pipe out now for me I have to hold my left um, I'm holding my left bumper and using my Y button but I probably can use O on the keyboard to do the same thing so O on the keyboard will put the pipe out and then to start the wood chipper you're just going to use B uh, or you're going to use, uh, if you're using your gamepad, you can use the um, um, left bumper and uh, the square button. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to reposition that trailer real quick. I know it's overkill, but it's here. Uh, 
think I can put that on there. Maybe I can't. Maybe I'm going to have to go get a tractor. Yep, apparently I'm going to have to go get my tractor. Alright, so I will uh, pull that back around here. A couple little stumps I didn't get. And as I get going, I might end up getting a bigger trailer to use. For now, I do have the uh, the fent right here. And we can go ahead and use it for what we need to do. So let's pull it on around. And I can ditch the, uh, the stump grinder for now. Let's just back it over here into the trees. Disconnect it right there. Need to get that other fit and lose this one. This one still slides. Alright. There we go. Alright, so let's back that trailer up a little bit. Come on up here. There we go. Get that into position. And that should be good. Alright, now to the buffalo. Alright, so let's back the buffalo into position. Alright, good shape there. We'll run back here. Oop, we're stuck. I don't know how we did that. Alright, we'll come back here to the back. We'll go ahead and fire this puppy up and get it running. There we go. And, like I said, you can do the work lights on this thing. If you come over here and you go to choose work lights, you hit G. It brings up and you'll see left work lights, middle work light. And then right work light on and off. So if I come in here and I uh, turn the middle work light on using H, you'll see that um, you're not necessarily going to be able to see it, but you can see it's illuminated up there. When we get in, you'll see it a little bit better. If I change over to G, uh, change to the right work light and turn it on. If we come over here, um, you can see it's on up there, giving a little illumination. Um, and you can move them up and down. I'll do that one day when it's a little bit darker in the game. It's a bit bright right now since it is noon. Uh, so you're not going to be able to see that. But you're able to move those around up, down, right, left. And rotate them around a little bit. So, alright. Let's uh, do our thing here. Let's change over to this guy. Come on down. Get a nice load of wood here. The great thing about this is I can do a whole, if I can grab it and get it up and get it over it, uh, I can do a ton of wood at one time with this thing and not have to uh, worry about one wood at a time. So as it starts to go in, now it's a little bit like that, um, it's a little bit like that, um, uh, what's the name of that? B Brook soon uh, that we had before the front mounted chipper in that as soon as a tree gets over it it's gone I mean, there's no gradual grinding to it it's pretty much a done deal once you get it over there it's going to disappear for you um, but still to be able to take a big huge claw full of wood put it right over the chipper lower it in and be done um, sure beats doing a stick at a time with a with all the traditional chippers that uh, that you have and you're probably thinking well this is the low P not realistic there are actually chippers like this that exist in the real world um, there's some shredders that are really cool I would love to see there's a shredder that's so it's like it sort of works like a grater or, or whatever. It's got it's got a drum that spins around, and then the chippers are down in the center of it. It's sort of like a funnel drum, and the uh, the the chipper shredder teeth are down at the very bottom of it. 
it's pretty cool to watch them use it. They actually uh, used it. They're building like an amusement park or whatever near me. And uh, they had one over there. And it was cool to watch them use it. Uh, especially when they start putting like treetops and stuff. You just see them spin around. And then eventually they're gone. Oh, oh, oh. Lost one. Man down. Which I might have already told y'all that before. We might have covered this. Uh, we might have actually covered this whole thing before talking a little bit about this thing. But, uh, I don't remember. It's been a while since we've done forestry. Alright, so let's get another claw full of wood. Get it out over here. Oh, I'm losing all kinds of wood here. That sucks. Alright, come back down. Rotate in. Get another nice little batch here. There we go. It makes a pretty cool noise, too, when it's chipping. It actually sounds like it bogs down at times, which is kind of neat. Uh, the particle animation is crazy on it. I really like that. Oh, only got two that time. So in no time, we can take care of this whole thing of tops. Which is nice. Oops. It was a little far over. Still am a little far over. There we go. Anyways, all right. Cool. So those are loaded out. Let's see if we can reposition and get this stuff that we dropped on the ground. are going to be fun to try to get. See if I can do this. Do, do, do. Come on. All right. Got that one. That one there. That one. Oh, four hours I can go with it. Oh, there we go. Oh. I can reach over and just pull that back in. Sweet. 
do that with a control pad. Yeah, I like my joysticks. Good little, good little investment there. And I use them a little bit for a uh, flight sim as well, but for the most part, the only time I use them is this game. There we go. All cleaned up. And that's good, good, good. All right, so we got all our wood chips done. I can turn that off. So we're done there. And we can go turn off the wood chipper. So we are done with it for now. I know there's one little stick back here in the corner. Eventually everything will get cleaned up. But yeah, the lights. Again, if I come over to G uh, and I select the left work light, I turn that on. If you look down at the ground, you can see the shadow kind of go away. I'm um, pressing the button and making it flash there. So if I hit that a couple of times, it goes away. And then if I hit the J and the N button, raises and lowers it. So you can see that shadow just kind of... I'm, I'm going to lower it now. You can see the shadow start to go away back towards the work foot. And then comes back towards me now. And that's just moving the light around. And then you can use the M to sweep it. And I'm sweeping out away from the trailer. And then K sweeps it back towards the trailer. But of course if I do that, I'm into my rental mod. Which I probably should take out of the game. But anyways. So that's it. Uh, we'll come in here. Let's turn our help menu back on. We'll shut our engine down. Or we'll turn everything off. Shut the engine down. And uh, conserve a little bit of gas. And I guess we can close the control panel there so we don't have that up and running. Uh, we do have some lights still on. Huh. So we got to turn the lights off. Interesting. I uh, figured once you shut the motor down, the, uh, the lights would go out. You can't do anything with them. Um, so... Let's make sure the work lights are all out now. Yep. Nope, this one's still on. So the left side needs to be turned off. There we go. Alright, so we should be done with our lights. Make sure that one's off. Yep. Alright, shut the motor off. Close that little flap. I'm done with that. Um, let's see how much wood chip we ended up with. Uh, nearly, almost 100%. So, this trailer is good to go. We can actually haul it off and sell it. So, uh, we'll go ahead and haul it down to the street. I got another idea. Let's just do this. Disconnect the trailer. Let's do this. We'll buy one more mod. Ding, ding. Turn that off. Go into the store. Anybody figure out what I'm going to buy? You're right. Pickup truck. Because I like it so much. There we go. And we can use it to haul that over to the... Uh, and sell it real quick. So, eventually, like I said, I'll get a bigger trailer... Uh, down the road, but for now, I don't do enough volume to justify it. So that little trailer should be plenty. Alright. We'll grab our little pickup truck, head up here. I wouldn't want to drive a distance hauling this trailer with that tractor. There we go. Turn our beacons on. And we can uh, head over to the lumber yard and sell these off real quick. Alright. 
So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit and not do the same thing. I know most of the videos have always been me loading logs and taking them down here and stacking them up. So I try to do something a little bit different this time. Um, and to mix it up, but do a little bit of forestry. So we're doing something other than just to ag all the time. I have a pretty good stack going. Somebody asked me to do a video hauling logs off. Um, I usually try to go with what people want to do, but on that one I'm going to say no, or not right now. I'm trying to actually make a big stack down here before I start hauling lumber over to the mill. I want to see how big of a stack I can get without the game exploding. If I could ever get Recon to get back into the to the forestry deal, he uh, the map that he and I have running of this, we've got so much wood stacked up on it, we need to haul everything over to the mill. Um, but getting him back into forestry is going to be difficult, I think. The thing with him is he gets frustrated with the... Um, getting everything set back up um, he had everything set up and working great with all his controllers but then uh, when he tried to add the track IR into the system uh, kind of made a mistake in the setup of it and it is one of those things we didn't know any better and the two of us set up our track IRs on the exact same time um, we got his track IR working but what we didn't know was the uh, the whole virtual joystick thing um, we set his up as like joystick one or whatever. Well, when we did that, we overrode, uh, that overwrit or overwrote all of the, um, the settings for his, uh, uh, G27. Because I guess when, when he configured everything and you go in and you do all your, your keyboard bindings and everything, it lists the device and then the the button on the device so it, it figures out the device number and then the button on the device and it assigns that value well when he made the virtual joystick device one um, it basically made his track IR uh, when he had his forestry binding set up it made his track IR move his steer his vehicle so it, it messed everything up and uh, I don't think he's ready to go back and tackle that right now. So that's the reason I think he steers away from doing it a little bit. Is He just doesn't have the time to sit down and redo all the key bindings and get it all straight. I completely understand that. Plus he's kind of, you know, doing other things. We all do. We all uh, play different games, have different interests. Um, and like I was saying yesterday's video, I think everybody goes through spurts. We find a game that we really like and we play the heck out of that game for a while and we're just addicted to it. And everything else goes by the wayside. Um, Fishing Planet was that way for me for a while. Um, now Dirt Rally is that way. The amount of hours I spent yesterday on Dirt Rally is seriously funny. Uh, I went through a hunter phase recently. Um, where I just spent hours and hours doing the hunter. Uh, so we all do that. Um, them guys are into doing some Arma 3 right now. Because uh, there's a new uh, gameplay mode, I guess, that uh, DepPP and Re or I guess Recon actually stumbled onto it and uh, has gotten DepDP and interested in it. I think Landy's interested in it. Um, so they're all doing that right now. So I don't think I'm going to be able to coax him into doing any forestry anytime soon, which is fine. Alright, over the hill we go, and 
here we are with the old scorpion king and this is going to be a challenge here we're going to fall some trees as you can see all the stumps are grinded up all the treetops have been gathered up so now it's just a matter of falling some more trees and getting those down the only issue i have is uh is with this now is going to be driving it uh and cutting trees and doing everything because basically i'm going to have to do the booms with my joysticks and then drive with the the game pad so hopefully it's not going to be too big of a an issue so all right i gotta remember all the controls and how i have everything set up here so just give me a second all right, I got to turn this thing on, which is that button. There we go. All right, I got it on and set the cut length here. And just remember how I got the rotations. That is to rotate the head there, there, up, down, left, right. Pull that other boom out. All right. So I got to get it kind of in position then come on up to the tree then jump on the joystick put the head in the right place and do my cut whenever it wants to cut come on that should cut right there kids yeah, that is that's right cut did I move? Oh, I moved cut to the other side. Duh, I'm an idiot. I forgot. I moved cut to the other side of the controller. Come on. There we go. I used to have cut on the right. I've got it on the left now because I'm using the left as a modifier to boom out forgot about that completely there we go so I think what I'm gonna do now is just fall trees wherever they land and uh, and I can come back and pick and choose them with the buffalo um, Come on. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, this is not good. I am not going to be able to make that happen. That's not a good position to be in. Yeah, this is the problem with this. Now I gotta steer. I gotta move over here and then come over. Not the way I like to do it. Come on. Come on, get on the tree. <sighs> Seriously? There we go. So yeah, instead of trying to pile everything up into one big pile and then come back and get it, I think what I'll do is just, you know, drive up, hit the tree, fall it next to the tractor, and then just use the come back and grab it with the buffalo down the road. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, that's not right. And like I said, I'll come through it one time, get all the big pieces cold out of it, and then once I've done that, then I can always come back at a later date and grab all the big pieces and, uh, and get them out.
We'll just let these roll down the hill. Come on. Come on, back up. Man, that tree just does not want to move. Wow. That's crazy. That one just did not want to budge. Spun the old Ponzi all the way around. There we go. Much better, much better. I try and pile as much up as I can, but like I said, for the most part, I'm just kind of, kind of, where cut them, drop them wherever I need to. Come on back. There we go. Anyways, get down in this little valley here. Now I can drop that back down. Go into third person mode so we can see what we're doing here. I think we. Uh, let's see if I can drop a couple more trees here real quick. That was interesting. I was trying to put the arm down to stabilize it, and then it just bounced. It didn't like that. That's a big tree. I didn't realize it was that big. Well, I'm in here now. Might as well just start dropping trees right here. Get my camera right. Come on. There you going. There you go. menu. There we go. Man, this thing's just really unstable.
Alright. Not too bad using it this way. I can't move and use the boom at the same time, but it is functional. I am able to actually use it, so... Some big trees. I'll just get a big pile of wood going here. I think that's all I'm just going to do is just cut for a little bit. I haven't done too many just cutting videos. It's mainly just been buffalo work. So. Oh, this is unstable. Grinding those is going to be fun. No, don't, 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 don't do it. Down the hill we go, and everything's messed up. I should have known it was going to do that. work our way down to the bottom of the hill here and then come back up because you're a little bit off stable stability when the when you're above the tree and not below it down in here by the garden center and we'll start here and just start dropping trees going back up the hill See, I'd like to be moving forward as I make that little maneuver there, but I can't do that the way I've got everything set up now. That's the only drawback to it, but it is much easier to steer the vehicle uh, doing it this way than it was before.
come on. Come on, hit the mark, there we go. Seriously? There we go. Drop my controller. This is sort of how I used to do them. I used to always just, I used to position myself next to the tree. And cut everything that way anyways back when I used a front end loader to do all my tree work uh, because I couldn't stand using the buffalo because it was such a pain in the rear end um, but you know like I said joysticks changes everything Back, back when I used the front loader with the big log claw on the front of it, I would uh, I would cut one tree, I would stack that tree really nice and neat, and then uh, I'd come back with the um, skitter or something like that, square all the ends up so everything was in a nice neat pile, and then I would take it and I would come in with the front loader and uh, and clip everything out. I wouldn't do uh wouldn't do anything any other way. I hated using the the buffalo. And I'm sure a lot of y'all are that way. It just is no fun unless you've got I mean even with a game pad it's just not fun. having dedicated buttons for each function is really nice for the joystick. The only thing is still booming out the uh, booming out the extension on this thing still requires you know that you use a modifier of some sort uh, to do it but it still is a lot better than than uh, doing it with a mouse and keyboard or queuing it with a game pad. Alright. But yeah, I think getting the steering wheel and having gas pedals and uh, to just touch the gas a little bit to move yourself forward uh, would be perfect. You know, because I really don't need to change my I really don't need to change my direction so much as I just need to move up to the next tree or the next section of trees and then uh, cut them drop them move forward you know you get the ones that are within your left and the right that you can reach oh that tree didn't fall so it's going to put me down on the ground somehow
to yeah if I could get it to where I can just drive in a straight line and grab everything within you know a two foot area or three foot area of the of the Ponzi and then just kind of do that keep working yourself up and down a line that's what I used to do with the uh, when I use my gamepad to do all the stuff and if I get back to doing that I mean with a using the uh, using the steering wheel I'd just be able to tap the gas and move up to this tree put the brake on hold it here cut the tree move the tree over to the side process it and then tap the gas to go on up the hill and I think that that's cool and then I'd never have to take my hands off of the joystick I'd still be able to manipulate the boom turn the cab all that stuff just by using the joystick so and like what it looks at I'm getting ready to do that it's uh dirt rally pushed me over the edge last night uh, play with it just realized how much I need a steering wheel to play that game it's it is totally if you're ever thinking about that game by the way and I'm gonna try to do a video on it later on and talk about controllers with it um, if you've been thinking about that game and steering away because you don't have a joystick you can totally play that game with a controller uh, it, it's and it's a addictive and a ton of fun uh, I had steered away from it because people had said and eh, you know if you don't have a controller it's it's no fun and or a joystick it's no fun and I thought well then I'm not gonna get it um, but um, after getting it and messing around with it with a controller you can totally can play that game with a controller and have a great time with it um, even better if you got a joystick but still completely playable uh, using a controller so uh, if you've been hesitant to get it um, and where the game is and I know it's early access right now but man it's a good game um, I, if it gets better from here it's going to be an unbelievable game um, but I, I, I dig it it's really a lot of fun I think you'll like it um, and like I said completely playable with a uh, with just a, a game pad um, don't see how anybody would play it with mouse and keyboard um, and it has that support in there but I just don't see how you could do it but I'm sure there are people who do I love the way that cutter just comes right back on into the cab with me yeah it's a safety issue Tree fall. Doesn't want to fall. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have plenty of wood everywhere. That one fell right on top of the truck, on top of the rig. here drop that tree hmm so if I can find there's there's the tree Got it. All right. 
let's see what's around us. Get a better view. We did some damage that time. Push this over here a little bit. See, this is where just a tap of the gas pedal would get me right up to that tree. And I would have never had to take my hands off the joystick. That I really want to have. Tap, 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 gas, tap, gas. I'm already at the tree and cutting. Uh, so my productivity suffers by doing it this way. Oh, uh, let's get over here. Anyways, uh, Sundays are just kind of laid back for me when I do this stuff. Um, forestry, it's just kind of, I don't talk too much about anything. More concentrated on the, on the actual wood and getting it up onto the thing. So if I've been a little bit quiet on here, I do apologize. It's more of just me focusing on the task at hand. I swear it's always nice to have somebody else in here when you're doing forestry. Um, you know, like Recon or Landy or something because sometimes you get in that spot where you're really thinking about where am I going to make this cut? Where am I going to land this tree and everything else like that? And you're not really thinking about, oh, I need to carry on a conversation with the video. Um, and uh, you, next thing you know, there's 10 minutes of dead silence other than you just run in machinery or whatever. So uh, if I've done that in this video, I do apologize to catch myself going, oh, I haven't really said anything in the last couple of minutes other than just mumble about where I'm putting a tree. But... So anyways, I will get this video processed and up today, uh, and then I will be doing some dirt rally. And I can reset my, what I figured out yesterday is I can, I cannot create a second account in it, which stinks. It would be really nice if you could do that. Um, am I up on the edge here again? Oh yeah, I am completely... Uh, and uh, standing on edge. There we go. Let's get that back. Um, I can't create a second account in there because what I had thought about doing was taking the progress that I have right now and um, creating a second account and starting all over from scratch and doing some videos on it. But I can't do that. I can only reset my account from where it is now. Um, 
which may be what I have to do uh, in order to do some fun videos because I I'd like to do the championship thing from the word go and uh, just do an honest attempt at it no restarts and all that other stuff and uh, just take you through the whole process of it and let you see the game because it is pretty darn cool and uh, I think a lot of people get a kick out of it who haven't checked it out. Uh, I know there are some people out there doing videos on it, but it seems like uh, there's not too many of them out there. And the ones that I would have found are all in German or something like that, so... Um, I've been stoked about the game for a while um, after seeing a little bit of gameplay on it and have been wanting to get it. And um, So yeah, I'll probably do a few videos on it. And might just do a little live stream of playing it, you know, uh, messing around. I thought about live streaming the forestry today and doing a long section of forestry, but I didn't know how well that would go over. Um, so anyways, and I like the forestry now. Um, like I said, before I hated forestry. It was something that I pretty much only did when uh, when I had to kill time while the fields were growing. Because I pretty much play... Um, for the most part, I'd, I, I'd like to not fast cycle things. I like to... Uh, when I'm playing for myself and just having a good time with the game, I tend to like to... Uh, I tend to like to take it and just do it more realistic in the sense that once the fields are planted uh, you take the time to do something else while they grow um, and I didn't really start fast tracking until uh, until we got into the whole soul mod thing and it sort of has changed everything because the soul mod requires so many days for your stuff to grow uh, I've been fast tracking on it, but most of the time what I do is plant, get everything planted, and then go cut trees or something. Or go do something different, mow grass or whatever. And I've steered away from doing the forestry and the ag together because most of the maps don't really do a good job of combining the two. Most of the new mods don't anyways. They put like a sliver of forestry in there and everything is ag. And I sort of, you know, like this. I like the fact that this is separated. But um, but that's the way I used to do things. I used to... I had dedicated part. When I did My Big Country, I had a dedicated section where all my forestry equipment was. And once I got all the planting done, I went over there and did my forestry work. Oops, there's a big pile there. Trying to get over here to get these... Get position on this clump. Logs are rolling everywhere. I really don't care. It'll be easy to get them all up. I've left a lot of stump that time. Sometimes I put a lot of pressure on the joysticks and I don't even realize it because they tend to slide away from me. I need to get some Velcro or something 
<laughs> or, or even better, just screw them into a platform and have them permanently there. I keep threatening to make a little pedestal thing that wraps around my chair that the joysticks sit on. Um, and I can use it and make like a little console and I think when I get the G27 I will make a, a little couple of wings on the side that have the joystick sitting on that so you've got armrest and everything built into it and then um, I'll have the uh, have the G27 in the center and make a little ledge for my keyboard to sit on so I can use the keyboard either have it off to the side or right next to me in the front I gotta figure all that out but I make all my own stuff anyway so it's not that big of a deal to do it There I go, pulling the trees through the console again. Yeah, make me a little tractor cab that uh, everything's in. That would be funny. Go to the extremes, right? I was looking at plans yesterday on how to build a an H shifter um, and the 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 parts for it, you know, to order some parts to make an H shifter. Because I'm thinking, hmm, I'd like to make an actual H shifter for a Euro truck with the splitter and everything, so that when uh, uh, ATS comes out, I would have it for it as well. Um, so I've been looking at the parts that you gotta have for it and I could use the H shifter as well I'd make one to uh... the parts are cheap it's just a series of switches and or toggle switches and then an interface board that you get uh... and then you use the software with it so it's not that hard to do uh... the one I saw somebody did they made their H shifter plate out of uh... Lexan and uh, just had a little wooden box that it was in. It was pretty cool looking. And uh, I thought, man, I can do that. That's easy. You know, take that in the shop. Make it up real quick. I think it's like, you know, eight little switches that are in there that basically you have a metal rod that when it hits one switch, it makes contact. And, you know, that sends a signal to the board that says this button's been pushed. So this is the position I'm in. It's not real hard to do. I could do that in an afternoon. And then I could make me a semi-console. <laughs> Put a whole bunch of switches in there. That would be fun. Alright, let's get this one more tree. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Get it off the track. There we go. I think we got plenty of wood on the ground now. Which I will probably wrap this video up and then continue to drop wood. Because I, uh, I want to get a bunch of it down. And I think you spend, spend some time hauling it to the, and stacking it. 
Alright, so it hasn't been too bad using the... It hasn't been too bad using the gamepad and the joysticks together. It could be better, but it works. It's definitely, um... Uh, it's definitely better driving everything else having the gamepad in the game. And I can deal with it the way it is now. This is the only... Like I said, this is the only vehicle where it really is a little awkward. The buffalo won't matter that much because most of the time the buffalo you pull up to a spot, you're there for a little bit getting several trees and then you reposition yourself uh, for the next one. This is the only one where you move constantly uh, from spot to spot to spot. Yeah, a couple of little trees there that need to come down. This is a clear cut. It is not a select harvest. I always hate clear cut. We have a... When I was a kid, we used to go hunting in these uh, on uh, Gulf State Pro Gulf State Paper Company property. And uh, they'd come in. You'd have a beautiful place that you hunted the year prior and loved it. And over the summer, they went in and just clear cut it and left nothing but the tops there which was cool because they left the tops for for shelter that the uh, the deer would get in and hang out in but man they would deforest it and it would look like a wasteland I used to hate that I prefer select harvest I like that a lot better where they come in they have an arborist walk the grounds pick what trees are going to come down or what's going to stay usually what they do is what they pick what's going to stay on the ground and then they just don't cut everything to the ground but I guess it, you know if that's what you do if you tree farm uh, you're planting everything to be harvested just like you would uh, a crop in the field so Boy, that is just a mismatched twine, intertangled twine of trees there to pick through with the uh, with the buffalo. Quite a bit to drop. Look at the last two lonely pines up here. And we will call this a video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it today. Uh, I know I'm not the most talkative guy when I'm doing the forestry thing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. A little bit different. We didn't do nothing but sit in the buffalo all day long and load trees. Which will be our next episode, I'm sure, with all this on the ground. Uh, got to look at a new chipper, so we're cool with that. And we'll just, uh, we'll be back over here doing some more, if not another episode early this week, we'll do some more, uh, this weekend coming up. I need to get back to where I'm doing forestry on the weekends, ag during the week. Um, it gives you guys a variety, but it also gives me a break from doing ag. Because I have to be honest with you, um, you know, with not a whole lot of new stuff coming out for Farm Sim... Um, it is starting to get a little boring at times. Um, so, uh, hopefully there, you know, some new fresh mods come out soon and, uh, that gives us something, you know, new to do and use and, but with no new equipment coming out, um, that's actually interest me, um, it, it tends to get a little, a little repetitive and a little boring, so, um. You know, um, doing something like this is a nice little change of pace. And, uh, you know, but I know it can get boring watching when it's a single player doing it. If you have multiplayer on forestry, it's a lot better. But, um, 
Anyway, so I'll try not to bore you guys to death with too much of just using the buffalo. So uh, we're doing doing much better today on that. So, um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll get back to ag tomorrow. Um, till then, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Uh, if you, uh, you like the video, make sure you like it for me and let me know. And uh, we'll be back to Manchester tomorrow and um, get started planting over there. So until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you on to next episode. Bye-bye.